Hey guys, welcome back to a Pokemon Madness video and today I've got a couple of things to show you and I'm going to be unboxing some more Shining Fates. I managed to get hold of some more the Mad Party Pin collection so we do have a art set of them to open up today. But before we get into that, uh, we my shops are starting to restock battle styles. So I've got an art set of the new Battle Souls blisters that I'm going to be adding to my set, <clears throat> blister set. A couple of purchases that I've made that I'm really excited about. I managed to get my hands on a legendary collection, Reverse Holo Pidgeotto. I got it for a decent price. It started to get up there towards the end, so I... I'm really impressed with the condition of the card. It does look like it's in very good condition. I couldn't see any imperfections on the front. So I'm real I I don't think it will get a 10, but I'm really hoping for a 9. I believe it will get a strong 9. So that will be sent to PSA when they do reopen. <clears throat> but this is something I'm really excited about. This is the first card of my collection. I managed to pick up a Venusaur box topper from Expedition. So I have been looking to get box toppers for quite a long time. And I managed to get my hands on one for a pretty decent price. It is a 9. 10s are still a bit out of my reach. But... I'm really happy to add this to my collection now and this will be the start of something really awesome. So I'll we'll put that in the back there. I'm so happy to have it. It looks really good. <clears throat> so the ones that I believe hold the most value, there are two. There are your uh, legendary collection ones. Because just like the Pidgeotto, oh, just like the Pidgeotto, they are a rainbow pattern as well. And that's just crazy when it comes to collections because it's it was like a one-off print, you know. No one, no one has ever done anything like it again and it will never be done again. <clears throat> but... And there are, I believe there was, uh, two, four, eight, 12, seven, I think there's 16 or 20 box toppers to be throughout all the sets. Some of the most popular ones besides the legendary collections were the, uh, what are they? The, the crystal ones from it's it's an it's a uh, expedition set. It's an e-reader set. It's uh, Sky Ridge. That's the one. Yeah, Sky Ridge. <clears throat> They've got your crystal Charizard in there as well as a box topper. I think I saw a PSA ten. Going for about, oh, I think it was on eBay for about seven thousand dollars Australian, so I think that would be somewhere like maybe five thousand US. Which, I mean, look, it's it's difficult to get a 10 in those things. Um, and obviously, if anyone was to open up one of those boxes, they haven't that have access to one of the four. <clears throat> but it's like when you look at a card so large and having it printed, there is so much that could go wrong with it. So I believe the population of tens across all the box toppers are. Really quite small. <clears throat> Nevertheless, 
we have our three pins, which is a Galarian Mr. Rhyme, a Danini, and a Poltergeist. So there are three pins. There does come with our three Primos, SW79, 80, and 81, Mr. Rhyme, Danini, and Poltergeist. <clears throat> so, there we go. So out of these packs, I, I would like a Charizard, but ideally I would like each pack to have a shiny card because I I need some more shinies to collect the shot to finish the shiny subset and code card and I haven't had much luck of late and I think it's reaching the point where it might be a little difficult for me to find Shining Fates products as new sets are coming out. <clears throat> I am really excited for EV Heroes when it does come out in the English set. We have... Hey, nice! A Galarian Lanu Shining, that's awesome. I love this card, you guys. This card is fantastic with the red. Oh, it's, it's awesome. And a Luxray Hollow. But, guys, this is awesome. Because, I think this would have to be one of the best shining cards I've ever received. Because it has no silvering on it. Wow. Okay, so then that means, knock on wood that this is a new print run of these and if that's the case that is fantastic <clears throat> but we are off to a great start fantastic start with our new one two, three, four. look at the cut on the back of that one that's crazy you see that guys madness Okay, can we do even better with this one? A Floatzel, Rusted Sword, Grookey, Spinarak, Shinx, Horsey, Yanma, Ah, Luxio is our reverse, and a Manfi Hollow, Hollow? Manfi Rare. <clears throat> You ever open up some of these sets and you just think about it sometimes? Like, I'm quite surprised that did not get a holofoil. It's, it is interesting. I wonder how they decide what cards get holofoils and what gets rare. Is it because of the last sets? It's a very interesting question. <clears throat> Darkness. Eldegoss. Dartrix. Luxio, Coughing, Horsey, Greeky, Morpico, Boizel, Schnoom, and a Luxray again. Look at that. So, do these. Yeah, so, okay. So, it does appear that these still have the um, printing issues on them. I'm not sure if you can see it I will try to amplify but the hollow for the lines they go all the way down the cards and in a turn makes the whole card hollow foil now that would have been an amazing what would you call it amazing printing error however it does appear to be on Probably 98% of the Hollow Falls. So I think finding one without it is probably going to be rarer and worth more money than just your standard generic ones. Oh, look at that chipping. The back of that, let's hope that's a reverse. Because <clears throat> that's a really bad chip. Metal Energy, Team Yeltel, 
Rusted Shield, Eldegoss, Trap Inch, Yanma, Coughing, more Pico, <laughs> Horsey, Yanma is our reverse, and a Volcanion. Wow, that's crazy. Look at that, you guys. It's a really bad. Crazy bad chipping. Okay. <clears throat> we have gone three reverses and one shiny. This is terrible. Oh, absolutely terrible. So I'm really hoping that in the next, next couple of weeks that with the release of with the release of the stamps in Japan I'm hoping to get my hands on a couple of <clears throat> collection stamp boxes have whatever they call themselves I am extremely excited for it it does look amazing and it does look like a real collector's piece <clears throat> hey, hot damn, look at that. Eveltal, amazing rare. It does look like in good condition as well. And what do we have behind it? A Dreadnought, regular rare. <clears throat> hmm. The car does look very good condition. Let's have a look at the back. Back looks clean as well. Look at that, you guys. That's awesome. <clears throat> so, I am also... Lots of things on the cards. Lots of things. I am looking at... Creating a... <clears throat> creating an amazing rare master set. Obviously, it's going to be quite easy since there is only about 10 different amazing rares uh, that will include the Japanese side as well but so far it is it has sorry only been in three sets so I decided you know what I'm gonna start and get on top of it now before it all explodes but unfortunately i decided that and psa said hey let's close our doors <laughs> so i have been purchasing amazing rares where i can eevee is a reverse and a manope so, at the moment PSA does open, I will do a large submission with my amazing rares. I believe the count at the moment is at, my card count for my submission is at 130 cards. So, half of me does hope when they open their doors two three four when they open their doors they do have a amazing sale but i kind of expect not or else they'd just be in the exact same position that they close their doors for three months for can you imagine how many people will submit on the first day it's crazy <clears throat> Tropicus is a reverse. Hey, look at that. Would you like a rose? <laughs> a rose full up. That's cool. Looks very clean and crisp as well. Number 71 out of 72. Wow, look at that off center. It is off centered a lot. <clears throat> it is gone to the right. On the side and even down as well it's a large thick border at the top which is a shame because it is crazy crisp like there is no chipping whatsoever but it is off centered so I don't think it will get the OC grade but 
I mean, the plus side is that the, the OC is on the back of the card. So there might be a little bit of leniency, being the front is not fine, but I speculate that it would only get a nine because of it. <coughs> we are down to our last two packs of this opening. How are people going? Are we still opening the Shining Fates? Or have we moved on to Battle Styles? Fighting Energy, Tell, Elbegos, Luxio, Horsey, Rowlet, Morpico, Spinarak, oh my god, Shnoom, hey Morpico, and a Professor's Research, our lucky last pack, and out of all of this, we have only gotten one shiny, granted, Granted, the best shiny you could possibly pull, but we've only gotten one, and I needed one in every pack. So, oh, a tad disappointed. <clears throat> Let's see if this last pack, actually, that is really quite bad, because we've opened three packs, Three, six, nine packs over three collection tins, and wow. Okay, come on, shiny Luxio, Nicket, Ruki, Yanma, Morpico. Here we go, Chudol. Oh my god, Morpico is a reverse. And a Celebi regular rare to finish it off. Oh, that's not what we wanted, you guys. But it is all I have for you today. So we did pull two, I made three actually amazing cards. One shining, one amazing rare, and one full art supporter. So, nevertheless. It's a decent video overall, so I do hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe as always, and stick around for the next one, which should be uploading any day now. Other than, peace.